Today we are going to discuss another method that we frequently use uh, to determine the stability of the discrete system representation and that method is called uh, Lyapunov method. Uh, here I'm going to write uh, for us uh, Lyapunov Lyapunov method. So this is another method to determine the stability of the system. Uh, previously we showed that uh, we determine the uh, roots of the characteristic polynomial that is associated with the system representation x k plus 1 equal 5 x of k and by direct evaluation of the characteristic polynomial of the phi matrix we obtain uh, and we find out what is the stability uh, of this dynamical system. Uh, however, the Lyapunov method is NDG-based method and it's based on a simple uh, notion that energy of the system has to be positive. So first thing is that energy of the system has to be positive. So think about if there is a function that describes the energy of the system uh, has to be positive. And the second one, uh, the energy dissipates of the system as the system uh, uh, goes and undergoes the time evolution. So in other words, if I have something like this, the system dissipates, so energy always gets dissipated in the system. So this is the energy, and uh, that is reflected uh, in the following expression that dE by dt is less than zero. So based on these two terms, we can now determine and utilize these two notions about uh, energy function and Lyapunov function, and let's call that function V and that function V uh, is a Lyapunov function and is a function of state. Function. And it's a function of state. Therefore, we have that is function of x of k because the states of the above systems are associated ultimately uh, with the energy and let us define something that is positive definite because we stated that the function has to be positive and in this form we write that as uh, x transpose k multiplies p x of k and this is associated with the uh, above uh, dynamics therefore if the energy of the system attenuates we will have that two subsequent distances of the energy of the system have negative and outcome so this expression says that energy attenuates attenuates therefore we have that delta V is equal V let's say x k plus 1 at a time instance k plus 1 minus v of x of k that will imply that if alternation happens this is less than zero this is the second condition and what do we do with this if v x of k plus 1 now it's written as Uh, 
plus 1 is written as x transpose k plus 1 p x k plus 1 this leads to the following that delta v is equal xk plus 1 is nothing but from our expression phi of x of k now we put transpose here p and here we just write again phi x of k and here we just have a minus x transpose of k p x of k and in this case this p is a positive definite this is what I need to specify definite it means lambdas of p are positive okay to the zero so I can values of p of p matrix are greater than zero all of them and let us work out this we know that from the matrix calculation a b transpose is equal to b transpose a transpose therefore if we use that for this term we obtain that delta v is x transpose k phi transpose p phi x of k minus x of k transpose p x of k and in order this to be less than zero we specify that this expression can be simplified and group as follows x transpose of k phi transpose p phi minus p x of k and now we write the following expression where this is q x of k to ensure that this term is a negative definite negative definite it's essentially stating that I have a positive definite Q definite Q with negative sign but this negative sign here in other words what we have is now the following expression that f or phi transpose p phi minus p plus equal q okay in other words we obtain this inequality and since we want to ensure that this holds we can place equality here and obtain celebrated discrete Lyapunov function p equal minus q okay 
this is the Gapunov function. Gap function. Okay. And stability criteria says that now stability says if P is positive definite definite implies the system is stable. In other words, I have in my head phi or phi first and I have in my hand Q because I specify because I want this right side to be uh, a, a negative definite so minus Q which is also positive definite or negative definite if minus is brought inside of the Q it's something that we already have once we, on the basis of the Q and the phi, calculate what is the P, we check if P is positive definite, if the P is positive definite, that the system is stable. That is the way how we determine uh, to the discrete uh, Lyapunov function stability of the system.